All right, guys. Um, here we are, and this is uh, Relic Ray's end of the year wrap up video. And uh, just gonna show you a few things. First of all, he got a what was it? Eighty. Eighty six. Eighty six silver. And uh, I'll show you a few of those. He got those nice barber halves there. Nineteen oh one, nineteen oh seven. Ended up with seven halves in all. Got a Walker there, a few Bens, and a Kennedy. 1964. I uh, got, I think, about eight or ten uh, Barber Dimes. It looks like ten or twelve, actually. And uh, a couple of Spanish. There's a nice one right there. And one that's a little beat up. That's cool. Um, let's see. I think he had about uh, 30 Indians there. No key dates or anything. Uh, looks like 9 Buffalo Nickels. And 20 Coppers, I think. 20 or 21. All different kinds. Yep. You can see Drape Bus Large Sense Coronet. The one with a harp on it. That one's cool. 1820. There's the... Uh, Fake Spanish Riel. That was a nice find. We got that on a live dig. And uh, Massachusetts Copper there. Yeah, that's always that's a, good a nice one. one. Yeah, and right beside it is another butte, a half cent. We got that on one of our videos. That's a fantastic find. And yeah. Some didn't have to do any cleaning or nothing. No, nope. it was in great shape. Came out of the ground just like that. Speaking of great shape, check this two center out. This thing is unbelievable. If uh, my camera will focus, of course. I'm going to cut out and I'll be right back. Alright guys, sorry about that. Look at this thing, it's shiny. Still got the, uh, looks like it was just dropped. It's probably dropped the year it was made. Beautiful coin. And uh, I think he ended up with four two centers on the year. Another nice large cent right there. So those are some nice ones there. Uh, let's see here. We got some nice colonial buckles over here, and uh, some old jewelry, Vit, uh, Victorian era, and uh, some dog tags and tokens. tokens and stuff. Always nice to get. Al Smith, Croto Bells, and little odds and ends. Yeah, I didn't really group it together in any particular order. I just laid it all out. <laughs> nice door knocker. Cub Scout thing. What was that a World War? World War One uniform one. Uh, buckle. Yep, that's cool. You know, some locks, compacts. There's a medallion. That's pretty cool there. Or it held a medallion. Oh yeah, there you do have the medallion on there. 1879 buckle there. Some skeleton keys. Nice colonial shoe buckle. That's nice. Show the key knife. <laughs> oh yeah. This is a, a key knife here. Folds up and everything. <laughs> That's cool. There's an old piece of jewelry that we found in that 1600s farm where we were finding things from the 1600s. That's pretty nice. Uh, oh, here's a nice little find. That's a Civil War era boot plate there. Found a few of those myself. Uh, on to the nicer silver finds and nice little jewelry things and stuff. There's a silver thimble right there. Um, some buttons, 
star button, a couple star buttons, and what was this one here? This one, yeah. uh, United Train of Artillery. Yeah. They were formed in 1775. Mm -hmm. They were responsible for uh, breaking down and setting up cannons for the war. Cool. Yeah, so that's uh, it's got gold gilt on it and everything, which is really cool. I always like to find the buckle or the buttons with gilt still on it. Yeah, that's a buckle piece, I yeah, think. Buckle piece, little religious medallion there. This is nice. It's a locket, silver. Silver locket, it's got some weight to it. And, uh, oh, this was uh, a nice piece here. We got that on one of our videos, and this is made of pearl or something. Or, what did you call it? Was it pearl? Yeah, it's some something. sort of stone. I'm not some sure. Sort of stone, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, this is the warden badge. That's a nice piece. That cleaned up real nice, and you know how I love badges. State of New Hampshire Warden Forest Fire Service. That's an awesome badge. Love that. And uh, here's a nice buckle. Colonial buckle in the woods that we always go to. <laughs> My favorite spot. Undisclosed location. Uh, there's a medallion <clears throat> there. And what did you say this was here? Uh, Bull Durham Charm from Bull Durham Chewing Tobacco. Uh -huh. 1909 they were given out. And it would have been gold plated but obviously it all wore off. Right, right. Nice silver ring. Another ring. Silver ring. Watch fob there. Sterling uh, little buckle thing. Yeah, not sure. Some more sterling jewelry. That's sterling as well. More over here. And uh, oh, this this uh, old locket. You can see there's a face there on the left. That That's one me creepy. first place. Yeah. Last month in jewelry. Yeah. Believe it or at, not. Our, at our club, we have uh, contests every month, and that one won first place in jewelry. Pretty unique. Uh, U.S. pin, and another button there. General service. Don't forget the Dick Tracy ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Almost skipped right over it. This is a highly collectible ring right here. It's uh, Dick Tracy. There we go, it's focusing now. That's cool. Alright, so, uh, move over to his best find of the year. And right now it doesn't look like much, but this, uh, <coughs> monkey head is actually a sword topper from the 1700s, Rev War era. And uh, I believe we have that on one of our videos too, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's an awesome piece. Yep, that's the uh, end of a uh, Revolutionary War by a malicious sword. Yep. Yep. So he's happy to have that. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have this here, but this is his real find of the year. Now this is uh, this is treasure you're looking at. It's a uh, 1600s seal matrix that was used to uh, to stamp with. Yeah, Charles II. That was his logo, whatever you want to call it, that he put on his letters in the wax seal. Yeah. And right now it's going through an inquest in the, at the British Museum. Yep, yeah, the museum's actually uh, worn it. They're they're gonna value it, man. And there's two museums that want it, so they're gonna offer me and the landowner a price when they come to a conclusion of what they're gonna pay. And right. I'll get credit in the British Museum for finding it. Yep, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool to say that you can have something in a museum. And if you want to see it, Doug, 
It's on uh, one yep. of our videos, yep. our England video. Go to England, you'll see it. It says uh, England on it with exclamation points. So that's a video you don't want to miss if you haven't seen it. Uh, we'll go show you over here some of his other England finds. You want me to take him out? Yeah, I want you to take him right out of the case. Might be a glare. That way you can see him easier. There's the other coppers and buttons. Yeah, tags. I didn't it. take them out. <laughs> Those are the measly finds. <laughs> <laughs> we just want the cream of the crop. Which is this case. Alright. Hammers and oh, yeah. everything else. Cotwheel penny. Yeah. Shilling. Here's the cartwheel. That's a nice coin. 1797. Uh, yep. And uh, let's see here. There's a nice milled silver. And here's another milled silver. 1893. That one's in really nice shape. And here's an awesome, awesome hammered coin. That thing's in mint shape. What was the date on this? 1500s, I think? No, nah, 1420s. 1420s, wow. Yeah. Beautiful coin. He's got some more hammered silver here. This thing is tiny. That's like the smallest silver coin I've ever seen. Yeah, it's the size of your, uh, like, pinky nail. <laughs> they call that a man's find. I believe it's uh, 1800, yep. Yeah. yeah, I had a good trip in England. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my oldest coin ever. Right there, that's a Roman coin. Over 2,000 years old. Unbelievable. Well, you can't really tell, but yeah, not too much <laughs> detail there. But yeah, some buttons up there and doodads. But there you go. Yeah, that is an awesome, awesome trip for Ray. Uh, and an awesome year. And uh, he's already off to a bang this year. We got the, uh, the, vi the video from today and uh, the other day coming out soon. Uh, but he's had an amazing month already. So, oh, I forgot to mention this fork here. That was a pretty nice find. Yeah, a little silver. Yep, little silver fork. It's like a little kid's fork. Pretty cool. But yeah, we uh, we had a great year together, and uh, hopefully this year can uh, add up to what we found uh, last year. But we want to thank you guys for watching once again. This is the best finds of uh, Relic Ray for 2013. See you next time.